and he only writes one page. This page would be no less a riddle than those of my holy book. Then he starts it, I who am the was, the is, and the is to come, descend to the written word, which is only time in succession. No more than an emblem. These things drop out of my eternity. They're only signs. And then he starts this perfectly lovely, I cannot quote it exactly because it's a whole long page, but I'll give you the essence. And then he starts this wonderful story. I knew, first of all, he said, I was born of a womb by an act of magic. I lived under a spell, imprisoned in a body. I knew hope and fear, those twin faces of the uncertain future. I knew wakefulness, sleep, dreams, ignorance, the flesh, reasons roundabout labyrinth. I knew the friendship of men and the blind devotion of dogs. I was loved, understood, prayed, and hung from a cross. I drank my cup to the drink. I knew bitterness as well. Sometimes homesick, I think back on the smell of that carpenter's shop. Now we tell you in the beginning, it's a riddle. And this page is no less a riddle than the riddle of my holy book. And you take that apart, your mind becomes inflamed if you know the symbolism he has used in that one page. I think back sometimes when I'm homesick on the smell of that carpenter's shop. Well, the word carpenter, as you know, is associated with Jesus in the Bible. Is this not the carpenter's son? Is this not the carpenter? Well, the word carpenter in Scripture, by definition in the concordance, the biblical concordance, means to produce from seed as a woman as a tree, as the earth. You produce it from seed. And here he is producing from the seed, the immortal seed implanted within him. He has to drink his cup to the very end. Drink it to the drink. And no bitterness as well. He knew all these things, the flesh, for he became flesh and dwelt within us. He knew ignorance, but everyone in this world knows ignorance. He knows all the reasoning, these roundabout reasoning, and the labyrinthine states of reasoning. 
asking you the friendship of men, the blind devotion of a dog. All these things he experienced. And then he returned to where he was before, enriched by the experience. So I thought of those who sing Allah fall into division. And that I have experienced. And they also sing our resurrection into unity. And that I have experienced. When that night at sea, coming through the Caribbean Sea towards Mobile, Alabama, when I was lifted up on high and moved in some strange, wonderful way, like a spiral, fiery spiral, but completely out of this garment, clothed in a garment of fire and air. And here I saw this enormous sea of human imperfection. And I simply glided by. That's all I did. I had no compassion. I didn't do anything to change anyone in my world. But as I came by to this huge sea of human imperfection, they were blind, they were lame, they were halt, they were deaf, they were dumb. You name it, they had it. And as I glided by, everyone was transformed into that perfection that I felt springing within me. And when I came to the very end, and the last one was completely transformed, as all the others were, then that same heavenly chorus sang out, It is finished. And then again I felt, felt myself imprisoned in this body. This body is a prison. And that enormous being, that glorious being that is perfect is imprisoned in it for a purpose. And the day is coming that you will completely drain the cup. And you will drink it through the dregs. And when you've completed it, you will be lifted up. And you will return to the glory that was yours before that the world was. Only enhanced by the experience of this world of death. For this is a world of death. Everything decayed. Everything died in this world. So you, the immortal being, came down into a world of death. And took upon yourself the imprisoned form called man. And here you move slowly, imprisoned, restricted, and you experience death. You experience decay and all the things that goes with it. And one day you drain the cup. And when you finish the cup, then you are restored to your original state but greater than you were before the descent into this world. So they sing your fall into this world of generation. And they also sing it into your regeneration into the world from which you came. An actual choral group. And they'll call you by name. And you are the being spoken of in scripture as the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jehovah, the Lord called God. There is no other God. There is no God but the I amness within you. There is no other God. And he prepared the way for his banished ones, for all the banished ones to return. And the only way back is through his son. Until you find his son, you can't get back because you don't know who you are. You will only know who you are when the son of God calls you father. Then you will know you are God the father. 